A tire pyrolysis plant is a waste to energy or WTE business that converts waste tires into pyrolysis oil and carbon black. Apart from used tires, a WTE plant can be used to convert waste plastic to beneficial fuels and valuable diesel. WTE plants are hugely popular among businesses today and enjoy the support of agencies monitoring the waste management in the country. Hello and welcome to Enterclimate, where we provide you with profitable business ideas and environment-friendly business solutions. My name is Shalin Verma and let's start this video. Pyrolysis oil is preferred as fuels in cement cleans power plants, industrial furnaces, paper mills, foundries and other industries. Tire pyrolysis is one of the best uses for disposing of waste tires next to the physical recovery option that produces carbon black, char or rubber crumbs with relatively lower profit margins. This process can be used to produce liquid fuels that can fuel foundries and boilers in power plants and for industrial furnaces due to their low calorific value and less ash content when compared to coal and does not produce residual carbon and sulfur content. First and foremost, why will one set up a tire pyrolysis plant in India? Let's try to answer this by pointing out the advantages of starting a WTE plant. Waste to energy plants helps in the disposal of waste in an environmentally sound manner and generates a handsome profit for the plant owner as well. Along with these benefits, there is a high acceptance of pyrolysis method for the treatment of scrap tires as the derived oils and syngas can be used as biofuel, feedstock and in the manufacturing of carbon black. The pyrolysis oil has a higher calorific value, lower ash content, lower residual carbon and low sulfur content. This oil can be used in construction, highway aggregates and can provide a superior insulation as a building material. Now what are the popular tire waste management businesses in India? First is the collection and sorting of waste tires. Waste tires are collected from various sources such as tire dealers, garages and scrapyards. They are then sorted based on their type, size and condition. Next is tire retreading business. Retreading is a process of reusing the worn out tire by replacing the worn out tread with a new one. Retreading involves buffing the tire to remove worn out tread, applying new tread material and curing the tire in a specialized oven. Next is mechanical recycling businesses. Mechanical recycling of waste tires involves shredding the tire into smaller pieces and using them as raw material in various applications such as playground surface, sport fields and in road construction. Some waste tires are also used or repurposed in the form of tire swings, using it in shoe manufacturing and in other decorative items. Now coming to the main part of this video that is tire pyrolysis business. Tire pyrolysis oil is made by using the pyrolysis technique that is heating the waste tires without the presence of oxygen that changes the complex organic compounds into simpler molecules such as pyrolysis oil, gas and char. The process produces pyrolysis oil which can be used as a fuel and carbon black which can be used as a filler in various industrial applications. If we look at the steps of this process, these include collection and sorting of waste tires, shedding of tires, feeding the shredded tires into pyrolysis reactor, pyrolysis of the tires, separation of pyrolysis oil, carbon black and steel wires, refining of the pyrolysis oil and finally storage and distribution. Now coming to the central issue of the topic how to start a tire pyrolysis plant. So step one is conducting the market research. It is essential to conduct proper market research to identify the sources of waste tire procurement, the market for the product, the pricing and other competing products available in the market. This will help you determine the potential profitability of your business. The next step includes selecting a suitable location. You must select a suitable location for your tire pyrolysis plant that is easily accessible and has adequate infrastructure such as power and water supply. The site should comply with local zoning regulations and environmental guidelines. The next stage is arranging the finances and purchasing the equipment. You will need to purchase the equipment required for the process such as the pyrolysis reactor, condenser, scubber and storage tanks. You may also need to buy auxiliary equipment such as shedders, conveyor belts, barrels, etc. 
The next step is hiring of personnel. You will need to hire skilled personnel to operate and manage the tire pylosis plant. This may include a plant manager, operators, maintenance personnel and administrative staff. As per the standard operating procedure released by the CPCB, most of the activities inside the plant must be automated, therefore the number of workers required is also less. At the last stage, the entrepreneur must obtain the necessary licenses and permits. The list of licenses and permits includes the business registration, pollution NOCs from the concerned SPCB or PCC, fire NOC, factories license, MSME registration, hazardous waste management authorization or the membership with a TSDF operator and lastly EPR registration. Recently, the requirement for EPR registration was also introduced by the Ministry of Environment and Forest. The Extended Producer Responsibility or EPR for producers, recyclers and retreaders of tyres were notified through the Hazardous Waste Management Amendment Rules of 2022. After the registration, the CPCB will issue a registration number with a validity of two years. Now, it is crucial to run the plant in compliance with the local regulations and environmental guidelines to ensure the safe and sustainable recycling of waste tyres. Starting a tyre pyrolysis plant in India can be time-consuming and a gruesome process. It is therefore recommended to take the assistance of professionals to ensure proper compliance with all regulatory requirements and best practices. So, Contact our experts if you want to start this business from the details shown. Remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more such videos. Thank you for watching.